How's everybody today? Good. Well, uh, I think all in all, we had a good spring. I really like the spirit and the energy of this team. Uh, I think that everybody in spring practice probably gets tired of competing against each other at some point in time, but it was good to go out and play in front of a crowd today. Uh, I think that energized players to some degree, and I was very pleased with the, the crowd that we had. Uh, I think it goes a long way to um, helping people see what kind of passion we have for the football program here and the football team and what kind of how we support the team. So, you know, it's really simple. It's all about um, people being committed to the team, uh, respecting what they have to do to play winning football, uh, which I've said this all spring long. You got to eliminate some of the negative plays, um, which would be interceptions, which would be turning the ball over, which would be dropping balls, which we had too many of today. Made some good plays, though, too. Um, also giving up plays on defense, making mental errors. Uh, those kinds of things are what get you beat. That's what we want to eliminate. The way you eliminate that is uh, players are committed to uh, doing what they need to do to play winning football, which means they're committed to what they need to do to help the team be successful. And they don't ignore the things that are important to winning. Um, they respect those things. They buy into them. They do those things every day to create the kind of habits that – will enable us to go out and, you know, be the kind of team that we're capable of. Obviously, we had a lot of young guys out there, but I think the experience they gained throughout this uh, spring was invaluable uh, and will certainly, you know, help us in several positions on our team. And, you know, I like this team. I look forward to this team. Are there things that we need to do better? No doubt. Um, and we'll focus on those things and work to improve uh, so that, they're not issues for us in the fall. But this was a good test, I think. The good guys played against the good guys, and ones played against the ones, the twos played against the twos. And I think that makes the game more challenging and a little bit easier to evaluate how people did. Uh, a fair number of teams are trying to plug in quarterbacks and transfer in the spring and fall. How much advantage is there? What are the benefits to having guys who have been in the program for a while, even if they haven't played a, a ton? Well, I think the people that have been in the program, obviously, um, you know, have an advantage to some degree because they know the system. Uh, they've had a lot of reps in the system. But I also think, you know, everybody needs to ask themselves, whatever position you play, uh, are you playing winning football at that position? And can you play winning football at that position? And I think that's a better answer to the question, uh, who could do that the best? And those are evaluations that we have to make at coaches at every position and you know, we've tried to build this program here with the guys that we recruit and the people in the program, but we have had a few guys that have come in and made, you know, real impacts on the team. And if we see an opportunity to do that, we're always looking for uh, a way to make our team better. After 15 practices, what do you think of your team's toughness and physicality right now? Uh, I like this team's toughness. I think they're physical. They play hard. We don't have a bunch of guys that are – um, soft or looking for an easy way. Um, they try to please the coaches. They try to play with intensity. Uh, I think we have better practice habits than we've had in the past. Um, and I think, you know, that mentality gets developed in the offensive line, the defensive line, and on special teams. And uh, I think we have some guys that are trying to step up and do that. Hey, Coach. Um, you have a lot of young quarterbacks. Do you like where they're at at this point after watching what they did today? Yeah, I think that uh, both guys are making progress. Uh, I think, you know, Dylan Lonigan has, you know, shown that um, he's got a little bit of more poise playing the position. Um, you know, he's accurate throwing the ball. Um, but Eli's made good progress, too. I think he got in a hurry a few times today, uh, which he was going to do the right thing. Uh, but he also had a couple balls that were dropped uh, that would have helped him. And we wanted to get each one of those freshmen at least three series out there. Dylan kind of moved the team a little better. Um, so, you know, I'm pleased with the progress that they're making. And I think they both have bright futures. Hey, Coach, keeping it with the quarterbacks, but focusing on Jalen and Ty, what did you see today was the biggest overall positive from both of them at play? And what was the biggest challenge that you want to kind of gear towards getting them prepared for the, for the next yeah, season? I, I think the big thing we were working on with the quarterbacks is fundamentally what they have to do to be able to process what the, what is the defense doing? 
All right, get a, a pre-read of what 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 is they playing? They playing cover two, they playing cover seven, they playing three deep zone, so that you have a plan in your mind. This is where I'm reading, this is where I'm going, and this is the progression that I want to go through. And trust in that and believe in that and not start drifting around in the pocket, you know, before you give up on what your read might be. Uh, because I think we have pretty good skill guys. I think we have guys that can make plays. And as a quarterback, uh, it's not only just the plays that you can make. And I like both guys' athleticism to be able to extend plays and get out of trouble and make plays with their feet, which they did a couple times today. But at the same time, uh, I think we've got to work on going through progressions and develop confidence in the passing game um, so that – we can distribute the ball to other people who can make plays more effectively and more efficiently. Coach, what makes Malachi Moore a good blitzer out there on, on the edge and bringing pressure? Well, he's played actually played safety all spring long. He didn't play star at all because we've been de developing our role at star. Uh, but when we had a couple guys get in the, the portal, they were both stars. So Malachi had to go back and play star and, and uh, Earl, who's been practicing a lot with the ones, actually had to play with the twos because it's the best thing for the team, you know, for us to get through today and, and have two guys that had experience in that position. But Malachi is just a very instinctive player. He's got lots of reps at doing the things like, you know, some of the blitzes we're reading the tackle. If he's such deep, we're going to come underneath. I mean, a lot of the other guys hadn't had the experience doing that as he's that he's had. So that that makes him an effective blitzer because he's reading it the right way. So, um, but he's a smart player. He's very instinctive and, um, you know, he's been a good leader in the secondary all spring long. Hey coach, uh, Justice Haynes had a pretty good game today. Uh, how has he developed this spring and uh, how impactful do you think he could be for you this upcoming fall? Justice is a really good player. He had a great spring. Uh, he's got great maturity about him. You wouldn't know he was a freshman if you didn't know better. Um, the guys, n nothing's too big for him in terms of learning, going out and executed. He's not intimidated by anything. And, um, you know, the guy's got toughness. He can run behind his pads. He's got good speed. He's a good receiver. He can make you miss. So, um, you know, I think he's got a really bright future, and I think he will contribute to the team this year. You talked about drops, but you also talked about the skilled players around the quarterback. Just kind of what do you need to see from the receivers in that area to kind of help the quarterbacks out? Yeah, well, we're, we're looking at the big picture. So we're looking at, you know, the 15 days in total of how those guys played. You know, Isaiah Bond had a really good spring. Corey Brooks had a good spring. Jermaine Burton had a really good spring. Uh, I think number 11, who made some catches at the end of the game today, uh, has um, got a chance to be a real contributor. Um, 24 is getting better all the time. Uh, made a really nice touchdown catch today. So uh, I think we've got the right combination of people um, at that position. Uh, we still need to pay better attention to detail and route running and, you know, sort of get a, a, a better, um, I don't know, like chemistry between quarterback, receiver, uh, so that we can develop confidence in the passing game. Coach, like you said in the beginning, there were a lot of young players that took the field today, first and second year players. When it comes to evaluating your rotation for the fall, whether who's going to start, who's going to play as much, how do you turn with young players? Okay, we'll live with these growing pains versus, you know, we might need to side with somebody with more experience. Uh, we're going to play the guys who give us the best chance to win. You know, I make all our decisions based on winning. Who, who, can, who can play the best? It doesn't make any difference if you're a fifth-year senior or a freshman. If you're the guy that can go out there, and if you took all the players on our team, you think the players on our team don't know who the best players are? They absolutely do. All right, so if you're a coach and you don't play the best players, you're not going to have the respect of your team because they know who the best players are. They know who, who that ha they have confidence in. They know who they trust and respect that are going to go be able to be accountable to do their job. Can't lose sight of that. So it really it has nothing to do with age. It has everything to do with accountability. And are you dependable to go out there and do your job? Whether a good thing happens or a bad thing happens, you got to play the next play. So, um, 
you know, we use all these things as learning experiences. So guys do grow and develop the kind of maturity they need so that they can play in difficult circumstances. And obviously guys with experience should be able to do that better, but they have to prove that they can do it just like the young guys do. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it.